All right, so uh, for the shield for the red prince, we also have talent points. I'm I'm not forgetting. Just want to look at what we're getting here. Accuracy, constitution, leadership, inflicts burning on contact. Yeah, it's good enough. I think we'll keep the shield though, and we'll put this in the red prince's bags. And hold, hold, again, I, I need to go figure out, I could have sworn I saw one of the DLC things. That's what the, um, the four daughter store people, their items that they sell allow you to upgrade an item to your level. Um, the shield's got great stats on it, so if I could just upgrade it and make it a better shield, that, that'd be cool. All right, so we have talent points. Oh. Oh, it's acting like the gloves aren't in my bags when I take them out. Okay. Um. So what are we doing here? Giving ourselves a single point of constitution for ourselves. And then another point to strength for our talent trait stuff. I think I'm just going to put a point into warfare again. And we have another um, trait we can put up. Um, I don't rightly remember what ability I was using. So give me just a second. Uh, because um, while this is a blind playthrough, my brother did recommend some things. We made a spreadsheet, and I'm opening that real fast, for what my character should do. Whereas everyone else, I'm just doing it fairly blind. Um, I'll give him a point in finesse. And one point into strength, because it feels like some of my equipment starting to require 13 points into stuff, and I want to make sure all my characters can use everything. He will put another point into warfare. Now, as for this... Oh, I'm going to pick this. Far Out Man increases the range of skills and scrolls by 2 meters. It do, the only thing it doesn't affect is melee and, t and touch range skills. So I'm assuming this like helps out my archer stuff. So that's what I'm going to get for him. Um... Okay, here. This is what I was looking to see for myself. I'm looking... F so the last thing I'm getting is something called Hothead. Uh, while I'm at maximum vitality, grants me 10% critical strike chance and 10% more accuracy. Okay. So, that was the last thing that I was getting for myself. And I have no idea what I'm doing with everybody else. I'm going to give her... A point in intelligence. I might give her two points into intelligence. That sounds fine. A lot of my shit's really high, uh, hydro sophist. I haven't found too many air spells. Should probably keep my eyes open for that, but I'll just put one more point there. What 
Or do I want to be putting points in a dual wielding so she can dodge? She doesn't have a lot of physical armor. I think I'll do that. Especially since her attacking with the wand is pretty much her real damage that she's doing. She's really got a lot more um, assist abilities than anything else. So I'll do that. So she's already got four out. So I don't know what else to give her. I don't remember ever giving her Master Thief. I wonder if she already had that. Combat Kid might be another good one. Mm. Gladiator is probably what I'm going to give him. That um, makes it so when, I, when I'm when i hit with a melee attack, while I'm wielding a shield, it performs a counterattack. Only once, happens once per turn, but that's fine. Um, I wonder if I should get her opportunist on her. Give all magical skills a critical chance equal to my critical chance score. Hmm. Uh, Soulcatcher might be interesting. <laughs> What? Oh, uh, these three traits right here, they're not being activated because I don't have the point. So like right here, picture of health and executioner, they're, they don't turn on unless I've got at least one point to warfare. So I need to remember I do that next time. Oh, when, with Torturer, certain statuses caused by you are no longer blocked by magic or physical armor, and their duration is extended by one turn. Burning, poison, bleeding, necrofire, acid, suffocating, entangled, death wish, and rapture tendons are affected by this talent. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I might give her the stench. Decreases everyone's uh, melee opponents find us less attractive in combat for Los. Then she wouldn't be the one freaking... There was that one fight where we were pretty much the target. Um, I gotta get combat kid. I prefer to have this one. Okay, and then for him... I wanted Gladiator. Yeah. There we go. I'll give him another point into Warfare. And I'll give him two to Strength. While I'm paying attention, I've got two, 12 Constitution. So Constitution is my lowest stat. Everything else is at least 13 or higher. Memory and Wits being the highest. I need to remember that for other things. All right. So save.
was this? Okay, I'm glad I stopped and turned around. Okay, so we're back on our course before we got sidetracked. And by we, I mean me. Um, still want to know why this dude's down, you know, his corpse, you know, did a flying act. Okay, this guy. Let's see, do any of these guys have names? These are boars. Alright, I guess it's time to assist. Captain America style. Now we'll kill him. Shoot him. And buff. I think it misses everyone. No, actually it did hit everyone. That's right, you can't teleport yourself. Okay. My thanks for your help. He takes a pull from a water canteen, then splashes some over his blood-stained hands. I say he's welcome and ask if that's his blood. No, it ain't mine. A saucer of fugitive was hiding here. Some of the locals were stupid enough to help him. We got a tip off, but he wasn't willing to go quietly. These void woken appeared thanks to him. It was messy. A lot of the locals didn't make it, and those that did. Well, there's a price for helping sorcerers. News that if the sorcerers weren't being hunted in the first place, then none of this might have happened. 
Any trace of gratitude for your help against the Void Woken drains away in an instant. Take my advice and don't say another word, hear me? Sorcerers brought this plague down on us. Them and the sort of folk who see fit to help them. They'll all get what they deserve. You can join them if you like. Otherwise you can shut your trap. Get what they deserve. What the hell do you think it... He pats the pommel of his sword, his hand still tinted with dried blood. Little doubt whom it belongs to anymore. I spent this face reach from a weapon. Damned idiot! You asked for this! Yeah, I'm the idiot. Notice how there's still more of me than there are of you. Oh, yeah. 7,500 experience. Well worth it. Spirit of civilian. The spirit of a woman cowers before you. She has her hand clamped over her mouth in a desperate effort to stifle the whimpering. Something catches her eye. Terror swamps her, and she slips to the floor, screaming. Help! Somebody! Help! My work on! Flight of the Phoenix, I haven't read that yet. Uh, Flight of the Phoenix by Isidore. This sprawling epic poem tells the tale of Bert Touch, a human oil magnet who owned all the black pits and coal wood mills and lost everything in a game of cards when his opponent produced the sparkler. In a fit of rage, he commanded his pet phoenix to roast all present. The dwarves that bested him, the cards that betrayed him, and himself for failing to consider the play. Villagers, some slain by Void Woken, others perhaps not. The spirit of a matronly woman stands before you. She shakes her head as she soundlessly argues with someone unseen. A faint sound catches your ear, the rasp of metal upon leather, a sword unsheathed. The spirit's eyes bulge with panic. She raises her arms protectively. Stand by, uh, place myself between the spirit and whatever seems to be looming in front of her. A chilling sensation passes right through you. For a moment, it sounds like you can hear a distant male voice utter a confused, huh? The woman's eyes seem to fix upon you, a brief flash of lucidity. Big Magister did this. He didn't care that I was innocent. I heard them call him Stanley as I bled out on the ground. The moment passes. There's another swish of metal through the air. The spirit collapses backwards, a silver gash opening the full width of her torso. The woman's spirit lies still on the ground. were slain by blades 
not void woken. More slaughter. Killed by void woken, who were in turn killed themselves. Oh, that looks like a really good bow. Yup. I lose two finesse, but I get a range point, which is roughly about the same. It equals out to being more damage when I don't have a high elevation, but less damage when I do. But the pure weapon damage is pretty good. I will let him carry it himself and put it on. Figure out what else is going on. The spirit of a dwarf woman stares despondently at her body and those of her loved ones. A word of the wise, friend. Never help a sorcerer. They'll only bring death in their wake. What happened? She was aiding a sorcerer? No, not me. It was my bloody neighbors. Soft darts and softer wits, a lot of them. I did the right thing. Let the magisters know what was <laughs> going on. Well, now we know why she's dead. But when they came for him, he conjured up all these monsters. The magisters were too busy helping themselves to save me and my own murdering sorcerer filth. I scrawl that I am a sorcerer, and none of this would have happened if we weren't being persecuted. You're the same as the one who did this, dragging monsters into our homes and... Yeah, yeah. The stench of dead void woken assails you. The thought occurs, sorcerers caused this. This is terrible, but the horror I witnessed in Fort Joy is this tragedy tenfold. Source may have caused this, but only Source can set it right. The Magisters are blind to its light. Source can be used for good or ill. That's what the Magisters need to learn. Nothing's all good, sure as nothing's all bad. Can't throw the whole world in Fort Joy. I heard a voice. That must be this guy. I'll give you fair warning, stranger. Turn around and get out of here unless you want to end up like this treacherous filth. He throws a kick into the ribs of a nearby corpse. Is his name Stanley by any chance? What? What? How? How'd you know that? Tell him that uh, he know what he did to that woman. Now he's gonna pay for it. Who are you talking to? Never mind. I'll see to them after I've dealt with you. We've earned the hero tag. Just pick your options. Will be available to us from now on. I kinda wish I had gotten to talk to them. I didn't think those guys all the way over there would freaking activate.
missed. You also missed. Ow. Oh, my guys aren't in the fight. Okay, I'm gonna teleport this asshole. They're gonna teleport right here. I was sitting there going, man, these guys are getting a lot of, uh, a lot of opportunities to do shit. Now I know why. I'm gonna give him... No. Canny evasion? I don't think this will work, because he's already in a down state. Prepare yourself. sneeze again. Ah. Give Fane fortified. And punch this guy. Uh, he hit his own guy. How'd you miss? I'm laying on the ground. Oh. Am I able to actually dodge while I'm on the ground? That's pretty cool. I only just now noticed path unavailable. Pray speak. Oop. I'm coming, guys. Can you untie me? Cut the ropes. Please, thank you. Her tear-stained cheeks quiver as she surveys the blood-spattered floorboards. It's like a bad nightmare. Except you never wake up. From this hell. The young man grunts as he fruitlessly tries to free his hands from the heavy knotted rope. Cut him free. Thanks. He looks to his slain brother's body. His eyes well with tears, though none break free. We didn't deserve this. We didn't deserve any of this. The grieving mother manages a thin smile, even as tears stream down her ruddy face. Thank you, stranger. She blinks out more tears, then rubs them away with the back of her hand and puts on the bravest of faces. To lose a child. It's a mother's worst fear. I never imagined. Tell her I'm glad to... No, what happened here? It's true. What the Magister said, I mean. My brother's boy, Gideon. He's got source in him. Now that his folks are gone, we've all he's got. He's been staying with us. We thought we could keep him safe. He's not got a spot of malice. He can't help who he is. But when the Magisters came snooping, he panicked. We all did. She glances at the Magister corpse and shivers. Another tear drips down her cheek. You shouldn't have let that Hanag woman near Gid. She said she could teach him. But that's when all the trouble started. No, the uh, Gwendian's not with her. Where has he gone? As soon as the Magister fell, Gid knew what he'd done. He didn't even struggle when they dragged him away. Gods know where they took him. I've already lost more than I can bear today. I pray to the Seven I haven't lost him too. I'll look for him. 
Thank you, Will. Oh, bless you. She ekes out another thin smile. Make sure he's safe. And if you can, bring him back to me. He scans the death strewn at his feet. The bereaved father weep. All right. This again. Loot the bot. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Are you proud? Proud to stand in the way of justice. Proud that you'd allow Voidwoken to raise the land. Proud of your wrongs. Argue with him that he's been misled by Alexander, by Dallas, by the entire order. A crooked sneer surfaces from the spirit's deep pit of contempt. The order has something you could never understand a code. His sneer widens. Traitors like you. You have no code. You blindly ricochet from one conflict to the next, stirring the pot while scolding the virtuous. You pretend to have honor, but you're a fraud. Yeah, well, he's dead. <laughs> that might be better than what he's using. It is. Um, um. By the mandate of the esteemed white magister Raymond, on the authority of Dallas's bishop's right hand, with the blessing of Holy Alexander, the possessor of this right is granted full access to all areas and personnel related to the official magister business as necessary to fulfill the commands of the the commands of the divine order. No further sanction shall be necessary, no requested. I think I've got something like that. But I don't know. Promise not to hurt her. Like I told them, Magisters, you can search the house all you want. The sorcerer ain't here, the door's locked, and the house ain't even mine. Tell her to run, the way is clear, I think. Magisters told me to stand out front till they caught the sorcerer, and I don't want to upset them when they're on the warpath. Tell her to close her eyes and keep telling her yourself. No, no. Yeah, first option. She closes her eyes. Everything's going to be all right. 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 So Magister Grimes. So there's a named guy here. So let's go kick his ass. I show him Raymond's seal of authority. Tell him to open the gate. Suspicious, he examines the document. On realizing it's real, he hands it back. Then... I apologize. I didn't know. Admission granted. You, there, guard. Admission granted. Accept the apology. Tell him he's doing a fine job. Relieved, he gives you a stiff salute. Eyes forward. Take my leave, returning a salute. Spirit of Magister killed Gallon. Come out, sorcerer. No harm will come to you. The spirit stares down at his own corpse, a bemused look upon his face. 
Reach out and tap his thoughts. He turns to you, so fast you don't see the movement. His eyes look blank, as if the void has touched them. He tries to speak, but lacks the strength to do more than croak two words. The black. Okay, I take it back. We're gonna kill them all. I want the experience. His worst nightmare, and then I kill him, and I kill them all. How do they know I'm undead? I've got the veiled undead thing. Hi. popped a potion right there. Ah, oh, and I remember it, yeah. I either need to put another point into memory, which I think I will. I think I like teleportation, because I like to be able to grab my enemies and throw them away. I'm just gonna shoot him. Phoenix dive right here. Shield throw. And puncher. Sneaking, HP, dodging. Yep, rather you have that. So let's make sure you put it on. Oh yeah, I forgot to put on your new weapon. Need to put on a ruin. That's weird. Do I not have the slots for it? Oh no, it's just because you don't physically have it in your bags. Thank you. 
aim's a little off. Focus. Oh, I missed. Slap. Let's put out the fire. The man brandishes a sword, ready to fight. A curious weapon, simple but weighty. It seems out of place in the hands of a simple worker, if that's what he is. You have your doubts, for the sword exudes an evil power. Back, Magister, or I'll cut your guts for ribbons like I did the last fella. Devil Magisters are dead, he's free to leave, but he should go unarmed. The Magisters are dead? What? Just, All of them? Just the ones outside. And you did that. I don't know whether to thank you or fear you. I accept his thanks. I'm going to look at his loot real fast. Why does he get a starfish on him? You have them. And with that, I shall leave. Okay. He gives you a stiff salute. The thought occurs. The Magisters have strayed from the path of Lucian. If one thing to stray from the path, but quite another catch your leg in a bear trap while doing it. They've sided with dark forces. The louder people shout in a god's name, the duller becomes their understanding of its message. Lucian would be appalled. Were they ever on it? Nothing like a zealot to get the message wrong. Sometimes I think the people who make the most ruckus are the ones who don't really get it deep down. Golden black ring shield? Oh no. Did I just let somebody out I shouldn't have? This was my dead father's house. This was my father's house. He sighs. What it'll do now? Well, there's nothing left for me here. If he were the crying type, he'd shed a tear. But that doesn't seem to be... So there seems to be something wrong with the sword that he's got? I'm gonna save over this autosave. I'm not gonna see what happens when I load. Oh no, I'm gonna open my quests. Something must have been archived. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to quickly load up real fast. Because there's something about the sword that he's holding. It said something about it being evil, so I don't want him to walk out the house with the sword. The man brandished back. Majest the Magisters are dead. And you did that. You have them. Blocked away. What do you want? Uh, scholarly response. Some I've always wanted a blade such as his. Ask if I can have it. He gives you a long, cool look. Then relents. He flicks the sword over and offers it to you. Hilt first. It's a simple weapon. Well made and well maintained. It's clean, but it feels tainted. Take it. The sword feels good in your hand, in a sickly sort of way. You'd rather be at this end than the other. May I go? Sandus died and let him leave. He gives you a stiff salute. The thought occurs. The Magisters have strayed. The louder people shout. Were they ever? Nothing like- Okay, that was the stuff we'd heard before. And then the golden black shield. So, this is interesting. The Black Ring have been this evil organization- that the Divine was working against previously, and destroyed them. This was my dead father's house. Sorry. This was my father's house. He sighs. What did he do now? Well, if he were the crying type. So what was the sword that he gave me? That I'm currently using right now. It's a one-handed sword. Oh, it has necromancy on it. Interesting. With a point into single-handed. Is it better than what he's using? Technically speaking, no. Stares down at his own corpse. All right. Dark dealings in the pits. The area is heavily guarded. We must be getting closer. Oh, before that. Eyes closed. She repeats the same phrase over and over. Everything's gonna be. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right.
her weapons don't have durability. This place is interesting. So it's a smithy that's being hidden. Question is why? There's Gwyndian. That's who we have to save. Come on, it's always the same tale. You're boring me. I've said all I know. Please. Oh, hum. I've heard all this before. You really need to work on your storytelling skills. Maybe if I make this simple. Don't toy with me, sorcerer. You know where your mistress is, and I know... I don't know where her nag's gone. I tell you if I did, I swear on my father's grave. Oh, he swears. Did you hear that, everyone? He swears. Why, that's almost as good as a pinky promise. The White Magister swiftly pivots towards you and draws his blade. Did you come for the show, then? Good timing. The interrogation scene is over, so we're almost at the climax. Confront him of his crime. He slayed Gareth's parents. No, no, no. Pers witch persuasion? On Dallas's orders? I doubt that would work. Well, aren't you just a walking encyclopedia of knowledge? I took no pleasure in it, 
But when Dallas wants it done, it gets done. If not by my hand, then another's. <laughs> Poor Gareth. The order was never for him. His conscience is too strong. He'd rather be good than right. The sorcerer fidgets, and you notice a thin dagger resting in his palm. He slices away a bit of rope, then looks at you, eyebrows raised. Uh, memory persuasion. Stall for time. He would betray Gareth after all they've been through together? Success. I like Gareth. Really, I do. But he took his path and I took mine. I know what I see. I see a world burning. And it's sorcerers lighting the fires. When I see the flame, I'm putting it out. I've got the problem hanging over there. He wiggles his unsheathed blade as if it were a child's toy. And I'm holding a quick and easy solution. The hanging sorcerer winks at you and cuts another segment of rope. He'll soon be free. Wits persuasion. Keep distracting the magister. I should tell... He should tell you all about this nag. Success. Well, she... His eyes narrow. What are you playing? The white magister spins on his heels, just as the hanging sorcerer breaks free of his bond. A plot twist. <laughs> I love it. Keeps things interesting. Damn you. Damn all of you. Oh, he used Void Lightning, and then it summoned a bunch of oiled Voidlings. That's funny. Path interrupted. So I'll shoot this guy. Buff everybody. Sorcerer on the loose! Contain him! Ouch. Hit him with this. This. Okay. Luis needs to come up here. And she needs to hit the kid with a heal spell. She can finish off him. He can just sit tight. Heretic, traitor, the <clears throat> void seeks you. Not good. Give him evasion. 
Give him frost armor. He's not getting hit with spells, but that's all I can do with her. Winter's Blast, right there. Can I fortify him from down here? Yeah, fortify Gwyn. Then punch him. Oh, wow. And then wait. Going out of eyesight. Earth damage. Alright. Can I shoot him? No, path interrupted. So I shoot this one. Shoot this one. I gotta try and whirlwind, but I don't know what this is gonna do. alive. Did she heal again yet? Nope, not for another couple of turns. Okay, she dies. to give them something other than the kid to shoot at. So right now the kid's getting decked just because he's standing next to me. Oh, he just cursed the kid too. God damn it. Yeah. 
Yep, kid's dead now. Shit, all that work. <laughs> <laughs> 